Now we are ready to add a new SIPDEC handset user to the system. To begin, power up the handset by pressing and holding the red power button on the handset for one or two seconds, then release the button. Below the LCD screen are three buttons you will use for navigation. Generally, the left button is used to save or configure a setting. The middle button is used to escape or cancel, and the right button is used to open a menu. To subscribe or pair the handset to the system, we are going to do two things. First, the handset has a unique number that identifies that specific handset. This unique number is called the IPEI number. And second, the OMM system has a unique number called PARC. So we are going to tell the OMM system what IPEI handset number to look for, and then we are going to tell the handset what PARC code to look for. This will identify the OMM and the RFP to subscribe to. Use the arrow keys to highlight your language and press the left Save Navigation or OK button. Enter the auth code. Since I am just getting the IPEI off the handset and not really logging in, using a blank or no auth code will work for now. However, this will change when I add the user in the OMM and program in the auth code. I will leave this field blank and press the left navigation button to continue. Highlight and show IPEI and press the left OK navigation button. Write this number down or keep it handy because we are going to type this number into the OMM in the next step. Before I move on, I want to share something that may come in handy. You may have received the handsets after someone else has powered up the handsets and answered the language or auth code questions, in which case the handsets will power up to a no subscription or similar screen. First, I will show you how to navigate to the Show IPEI menu. And second, I will show you how to reset the handsets to factory default. OK, to go to the Show IPEI menu, press the right navigation button to open a menu. Arrow down until the word System is highlighted. Press the left navigation button to select OK. Arrow down, highlight Show IPEI, and press the left OK navigation button, and there is the IPEI number. Anytime you are in a menu, you can return directly to the main screen by quickly pressing the red hang-up slash power button. Now I will show you how to reset the handset to factory default. Press the right menu navigation button. Once you are in a menu, anywhere in the menu, on the dial pad, press star 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 76 pound. Watch the top of the screen switch from menu to service mode. Arrow down and highlight Reset Functions. Then press the left OK navigation button. Arrow down and highlight Master Reset and press the left OK navigation button. Press the left OK navigation button again to confirm yes. The handset will restart with the factory defaults and begin with the language screen. Let's return to the OMM and add our first handset user, where we will enter the IPEI number we just got from the handset. In the menu on the left, click on Portable Parts. To add a new DEC handset user, click on the New button. Type in the user's name. This is the name that will display on the handset. And to the extension number, this will be given to you by your service provider or IT or telephony group. Enter the IPEI number from the handset. The DEC authentication code has been pre-populated from the system settings. Under SIP authentication, enter the username and if used, a password. My IT group used the extension number as the username and didn't require a password. When you are finished, click on the OK button. The next thing is to make sure the subscription allowed is started. If it is not, Click on the Start button. When Subscription Allowed is started, you will see a green check mark. One last thing. Remember when I was talking about the PARC code under the menu System and System Settings? The all numeric PARC code that the system generated is also listed on the Portable Parts page. We are going to need this number in the next step, so write it down or have it handy on your computer screen. 